So what are you asking me about Aisha? Is that you love that film? Sure. <laughs> so I was asking you. So yeah, I loved it uh, totally. <laughs> and uh, so I feel so there was this three best friends, all right, um, in the movie. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. I want to know how much of a difference it would have made, like if you had a gay best friend and you would do everything what you did in the movie, going out. <laughs> Partying, shopping, uh -huh. like, you know, how much of fun that would, would have been. Like. That would have been awesome. And that would have been amazing. Yeah. And um, I wish I thought about that because I was 21 when I made that film and I didn't think of that. And we based it on this book called Emma. Uh, and we yeah. just basically just did the same thing. And we just put it in high society Delhi, which is exactly like high society. <laughs> like we the back. <laughs> It's all about getting married, yes, yes, yes. et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, again, um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't. That would have been awesome. Now that I'm thinking about it, because that's my <laughs> life. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I mean, even yes, though. Yes, exactly. It would have been like more personal to you as well. Yeah, I know. But um, Ira Dubey did a fabulous job. She's a really good friend of mine. And yeah, she could have been gay. Yeah. It would have been wonderful. Yeah. Um, we have an example of uh, Ella Fitzgerald where she was a black female person and whenever she used to sing, so nobody will book her. And I recently read about it and there was this time like people actually stopped signing her because she was a black person. But then Marilyn Monroe came into the scene and she used to go and sit in the front seating, right? And uh, so because of her, she can draw everybody inside the whole thing. So. Like, how do you think, like, you're doing it so far? Like, um, well, um, see, I think I, I do my best, honestly, um, in whatever way I can. Um, I feel like, especially in the film industry, um, where the trans community is concerned, I think there's still a lo long, 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 long way to go. So I think over long, the... Long, long way to go, yeah. I know. So I feel like the focus right now is over there as well especially with te technicians especially with writers and directors and even maybe actors and i feel like that's where we should concentrate as much as we can i know that there is a incredibly talented cinematographer who is a part of the community and um whose work i really admire and i'm really trying to get that person to kind of I, I, I don't want to name the person. Um, I don't know if the person's comfortable with it. Um, but I really would like to kind of give that, you know, have a very diverse uh, way. I have, I'm, I put in terms with my sister as well. So we try as much as we can to make that very diverse. We don't, we don't discriminate. Yeah. Obviously. And um, I think, and I, th I think we have to be conscious. It has to be conscious effort. Um, because yeah, also, uh, I believe like we, yeah, yes, please continue. I feel like I it believe. has conscious effort. It shouldn't, I think sometimes it's not, I mean, everybody sh says, you know, it has to be the best person for the job, but I feel like, how do you know who the best person in the job is? Because everybody's not had the equal opportunity, you know, everybody does not have the same opportunity. Yeah. So, you know, and I feel like if you're in a place of privilege, my mom said this to me actually, which is amazing. Instead of building higher walls, build a longer table so you need to get everybody to sit on the table and, and um so it's about giving opportunity it's about if you are in a place of privilege if you have that whether it's film whether it's fashion i know i'm privileged where it com comes to that part of the world i know as a person who has a voice who has uh, x amount of instagram followers or social media following or somebody who is famous i know i have a platform i have to use that platform and i need to encourage and sometimes even shame other people to using their platform in a way and i and i do that as much as i can um i send like insane amounts of whatsapp messages and like call them and pester people and ask them to do things and speak up and i think that's the only way right now you know hire them um cast them you know ask my friends uh who are in the same place as me or who has privileged as me or more privileged as me to speak about it and do the same thing that's the only way i think you know like they say a man yeah. 
speaking for equal rights for a woman is just as important and i feel for us it's it's the same thing 